Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Ruby. I post a ton of New York City and lifestyle content with the occasional beauty video here and there. We're trying to reach 6k. That is the next goal here for this channel. So if you like what you see, please click that subscribe button and join the family. I post new videos three times a week. So there's always new content to binge. I'm really excited for today's video. I'm excited for every single video that I film for you guys. You already know that. But today's video is very summer themed, which is funny because it's like one of the only rainy days we've had here in the city, but the heat is definitely here. My AC is off while I'm filming and oh, it's hot. I feel like my makeup is looking a little bit glowier than usual, but summer is here, the warm weather is here. Um, it's always the season for SPF, but especially right now, I feel like I have been super diligent when it comes to making sure that I'm protecting my skin from the sun, especially because, you know, here in New York City, we walk everywhere, so sun exposure is kind of like inevitable. And I've also been really into making sure that I always have a nice, healthy glow, whether that be through like self-tanning or tanning outside. Um, the building that me and my boyfriend live in has a beautiful garden where you can actually lay out and tan outside, so I plan on doing that a lot this year. We have a little visitor in today's video. I think Dakota's gonna hang with us. But with all that being said, I wanted to do a favorites video today of sorts. This one though is specifically revolving around all of my self tanning favorites, tanning favorites, SPF and sun protection favorites. I feel like this video could be really, really helpful just because I feel like people are always kind of on the hunt for like what products work best under makeup, over makeup, what's the best body SPF product that isn't gonna break you out. I have tons of products for you guys. We're gonna be going through so many different things today. I'm showing you everything that I love and use almost daily. I'm gonna have links for everything listed down below, but without further ado, let's just get started. We're gonna tuck my hair behind because oh my gosh, it's a little toasty. But anyways, I tried to divide these products into categories. The first of which are my self tanning favorites. So when I want that sunless tan, but I want it to look like a really natural glow, these are the products that I absolutely love. I'm gonna start with the one that probably isn't gonna come as a surprise to you guys. They're these right here. These are from Isla Paradise. These are the self tanning drops for face and body. Now I use these specifically for my face. You mix this in with your moisturizer. Um, I would say like during the summertime while I'm still like working on my tan. I'll use this like once or twice a week, but in the winter time I incorporate this all the time into my skincare routine I have the medium shade I find that for me and like my normal skin tone the light just doesn't really work for me But I love the natural glow that the medium shade gives it doesn't make you orange. It's a super Neutral color you can't go wrong with this though, and this has never broken me out I think I've been through five or six bottles of this and then I have two self tanning products that I've been loving for the body the first of which is also from Isle of Paradise and this is one of their newer products this is their self tanning butter now this only comes in one shade it's kind of like a universal glow shade now I will say if you're a deeper skin tone this probably isn't gonna work for you I would say that this is definitely mostly suited for light to medium skin tones now this is a gradual self tanning lotion they say that you can use this over the course of a couple of days or you can just use it once for a really nice kind of like warm summery look I will tell you you don't need to use this over the course of multiple days I only use this like one day out of the week and then I'll reapply the next week if I start to use this multiple days in a row I will start to get a little orange but if you just use it once like I said you rub it in really well it's not streaky it's not patchy it has a little bit of like a shimmery finish to the skin so it just gives you that beautiful kind of like sun-kissed look and I really like this um, I definitely think it's a great new product from Isle of Paradise I hope that they come out with more colors so that it's definitely more versatile and then as far as the self tanning mousse that I love I feel like it's been a while since I've had a tanning mousse or a tanning water that I've really loved which is why I've been sticking to this tanning lotion you can see I've used up quite a bit however I found this at the drugstore a few weeks ago and now it's like exploding all over TikTok so I'm glad I grabbed it while it was like readily available but I think that this is an absolutely stellar self tanning product this is the L'Oreal new sublime bronze self tanning water mousse now I got mine in the color medium just because I figured that's what I like to pick up in all of like my Isle of Paradise products it's a really nice self tanning water and I will say it's clear so it doesn't have a guide so if you're new to self tanning I would say maybe try something else but what I love about this is you don't have to be like too careful with this it doesn't get streaky it doesn't get patchy it doesn't transfer onto clothing it doesn't transfer onto your bedding I will say it starts off a little sticky but then it does dry down within like the first hour of you applying this I actually just reapplied this this morning uh, probably like four hours ago so the tan is still developing I don't think you're gonna be able to see it um, and then I did use the Isla Paradise facial drops on my face and neck but yeah really love this stuff and then as far as the tanning mitt that I use it's actually dry 
buying, but I used the one from Bondi Sands. I feel like it's so nice. I'll link that down below too. It almost has this like velvety feel to it. So it's really nice to like buff into the skin or buff product into the skin. So those are the self tanning products that I wanted to mention. Now I'm going to go into the products that I use when I'm actually tanning outside and I'm getting like a natural tan, if you will. I had always wanted to try out like a tanning oil, but to be honest, up until last year, I was really scared to try them just because I don't burn easily at all. Um, I actually tan really fast, but I was afraid that like, I just seen so many horror stories when it came to tanning oils. I was really hesitant, but then I realized that a lot of tanning oils now do have an SPF in them. Granted, it's a low SPF, so you always want to layer it with like actual sunscreen on top, but I love this stuff. I used up an entire bottle of this last year, so I went and repurchased a new one for this summer, um, and this is from Hawaiian Tropic. This is their Island Tanning Dry Spray Oil. Now, I love this because it is a dry oil, so it soaks up into the skin super fast. You're not left feeling greasy, sticky. Like, I personally really can't stand that. It has an SPF of 25, so not bad. I've seen a lot of, like, tanning oils and tanning lotions that only have, like, an SPF of 10 or 15, so I do really like that this is at least something. It's another coconut scent, so very summery, um, and it's also water resistant for up to 80 minutes, so if you're at the beach, this is great too. Now, I won't say you can get like crazy dark from this, but that's never what I'm looking for. I definitely like a medium kind of tan look, but I remember like last summer, I would apply this, I'd lay out for like an hour or so, and I mean, the tan lines would definitely be very apparent afterwards. So it's a great product, it's super affordable. I will say it's hard to find right now because again, this product like exploded on TikTok, but um, I'll link it down below and it's really great. So now let's get into all of the products that I use in terms of sunscreen and sun protection, which is really honestly the most important for the summertime. Starting off with what I'll use under makeup or as a primer, or I'll just wear on those no makeup days. Super Goop has completely stolen my heart and I know so many of yours in terms of sunscreen and sun protection. I love every single product that I have ever tried from them. And in terms of like their face products and like their face primers and their face sunscreens, these are my two favorites. I bounce between both of them to depending on like the makeup look that I'm going for that day or how my skin feels that day. So this one right here is the matte screen and then this one is the glow screen. Both of them have an SPF of 40, so definitely a decent amount of sun protection. However, you will want to continuously reapply sunscreen on both your face and body throughout the day and I'm gonna show you how I do that in a second. Now, I will say, even though I'm combination skin, I used to be more oily, but now I'm like pretty evenly like combo. Um, you do not have to be scared of this even though it has the word glow in it. It does give you a beautiful glow, but it doesn't make you feel oily or greasy. And I really do feel like if you're going to use it as a makeup primer, it still helps to keep your makeup locked. If you have really oily skin though, I would say definitely go for the matte screen. When I'm doing like a full coverage face that I need to last all day, this is what I'll use. And then if I'm going for something a little bit glowier like today, I used this as my primer. What I love about both of these sunscreens though is they are slightly tinted. Um, it doesn't really show up on the skin, but it just helps to like prevent any sort of white cast or like flashback in pictures and both of these just have such a way of like blurring the skin and making your skin kind of almost look like there's a filter on it it's really crazy if the lighting is changing you guys it's about to start like downpouring so I'm trying to like finish this up Okay, the third product that I use in terms of like a face base, I feel like nobody has talked about this yet, so I might be sharing like a really good secret. I love this stuff. I used it yesterday for a no makeup day and it still made me feel like I had something on my skin. Um, I just felt a little bit more put together and I'm obsessed with this. This is from La Roche Posay, which I mean, you really can't go wrong with this brand. Again, this like super goop, I've never had a product from them that I haven't liked. This is their Tinted Mineral Light Fluid Sunscreen SPF 50, so a little bit higher than the super goop. And this is basically just a tinted sunscreen. So it has a universal tint, which again, I know is not universal, but it's very similar to the super goop formula. I love this stuff though, because I will say in terms of like comparison between all three facial sunscreens. This is very glowy. This is very matte and this is somewhere like right in the middle. It's kind of a natural finish. I definitely can't recommend these enough though. I feel like I use them for very different purposes. So I'm happy to have all three and um, I'm covered for every day. Not just in the summer, you guys. You need to be wearing SPF every single day. I get a lot of questions in terms of, you know, we're supposed to be touching up our sunscreen throughout the day on both our face and our body, but like, what do you use for sunscreen over your makeup? You know, what's the product that like is going to give you that protection, but it isn't going to mess up your makeup. It isn't gonna make it slip and slide everywhere. And I have the product for you. This stuff, 
is a game changer. I'm not being overly dramatic. And again, it's from La Roche-Posay. Okay, so this is their Ultra Light Sunscreen Lotion Spray. Now this is an SPF of 60, so again, a really decent amount of like protection, at least I think so. Obviously I'm not an expert. This is the first spray that I have ever seen that you can actually use on both your face and body. I feel like usually it's very much, this is for your body, this is for your face. You don't put the body spray on your face, your eyes are gonna burn, but this stuff is amazing. It's a super lightweight, fine mist that doesn't mess up your makeup and it's so easy to reapply throughout the day. Now it says that technically, if you're gonna apply this to your face, you need to spray it on your hands first and then like dab. For me, I just make sure that I'm holding it really far out and I also cover my eyes. And then I just spray it on my face like a setting spray. It definitely leaves a little bit of a glow. If you're looking for like a matte setting spray, I do believe that Super Goop has an SPF setting spray, but I've never tried it, but I do think that that is more matte. There's also like a ton of SPF like powders that you can get too. However, I love this stuff and you guys know recently I have been loving the more glowy, dewy makeup look. So cannot recommend this enough. I feel like this is like a secret that I'm letting you guys in on. Anyways, it's so good. Now, last but not least, let's get into what I use on the body in terms of SPF and sunscreen it's getting so dark it's about to start storming i am so scared i have three products kind of depending on like what i specifically need them for so if i'm going out during the day maybe a night out and i want that sun protection but i also want my skin to look really glowy and kind of like that off-duty model look this is the product this is it right here this is the super goop glow screen body so it's basically like the same thing as the glow screen but it's formulated slightly different for your body i feel like this would definitely be like too heavy for your face it's not interchangeable this is a little bit more expensive for a body sunscreen, which is why I save this for kind of those specialty days, but it doesn't make your skin look sparkly or shimmery. It just gives this glow to it, and it's so beautiful. This has an SPF of 40, so if you need even more protection, I guess you could always layer it with like a heavier spray sunscreen. But in terms of spray sunscreen, what I use when I'm outside doing like that natural sun tanning with the tanning oil, because like I said, it's really important to partner that with a heavier SPF. I use another Hawaiian Tropic product. This is the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Clear Spray Sunscreen in like the weightless formula. This is an SPF of 30. So this partnered with the tanning oil, which has an SPF of 25, I feel like you are pretty protected. It's super easy to reapply throughout the day if you're just looking for a really good sunscreen that doesn't feel sticky. It feels weightless, just like the bottle says. I really recommend this. This last product is not an SPF product, but it is a kind of like after sun product. So I really wanted to mention it and kind of like round up the video with this. I guess I just really love Hawaiian Tropic, but this is their Silk Hydration After Sun Lotion from the same like weightless collection. This stuff is great um, because obviously like after tanning outside which I will say like you shouldn't do that every day but if you're going to um, or if you're just gonna do it occasionally your skin will definitely feel dry after being in the Sun so this is really nice and it's that cooling kind of like instant burst of hydration um, you can use this after you know sun exposure obviously or you can use this as kind of like your everyday lotion for the summertime because it really is cooling, it's lightweight, but it's still really hydrating. It's a coconut papaya fragrance though, so very much in the summer mood. Maybe I'll just apply some of this while it's storming outside and feel like I'm on a beach vacation. But anyways, you guys, that wraps up today's video. I feel like we covered a lot all about my self tanning, sun tanning, and sun protection favorites. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also click that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're trying to hit 6K. That's the next goal here for this channel. Be sure to follow me on all of my other social media networks, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Clubhouse, subscribe to my podcast, check out my Amazon shop. I love you guys so much. I hope that you all are staying safe, happy, and healthy, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.